Warning, everything you will see in this video is not based on facts, it is just a theory. A game. Hello everyone, it's been a while since I released a video and I apologize for that. Anyway, let's move on to the video. I have been interested in God Cube for a very long time and TDS lore in general, and not only me, but also many other YouTube channels. If you are watching this video, it is very lucky for me. We first learned about the God Cube in the Lunar Overture, where it was presented as a source of strength and power. Everyone who went through all three acts knows very well how difficult they were, but I'll get to that later. The main thing we are interested in is the God Cube. In order for something like this to exist at all, it must be created. So let's call the one who created it, the Creator. In one of the cutscenes, we see Umbra running into the forest to escape. When she reached the forest, she noticed a strange purple glowing cube surrounded by binary code. Umbra didn't hesitate and approached it. But one thing is certain. Umbra didn't want to touch it, but the cube pulled her to it with its power. When Umbra touched the cube, a huge sonic glow appeared, which led to an explosion. But even in the next scene, we see that the cube is still together. But other things that you can notice is that the God Cube no longer lights up as if it has lost its power. Another thing that interested me about the God Cube is the blocky characters variously stuck in the cube, looking as if they want to run away or get out. If you were attentive, you surely noticed that after the explosion, it is no longer there. Would that mean that they were victims of the God Cube from which the cube drew its power and then transferred everything to Umbra? But if we look at the God Cube fragments, UGC, they are still here, but not on the scene anymore. So what is it? I'll leave this part up to you. Write me your ideas in the comments. But let's review how the God Cube works. If you look at it, it will pull you towards it and force you to touch it. The same happens with fragments. It will then give you all its power and transform you into stronger and more powerful. Or is it not? Wait, let's rewind. Okay, now let's slow it down. More. And stop. Do you see it? If not, I'll zoom it for you. Can you see it yet? It's 100% eyes. You can play the footage yourself to see for yourself. But let's be clear. There are two God Cubes in the TDS world. Original and replica from Lunar Overture. Lord Exo has no eyes. Narrator has a mask over his face. So who is it? On one thumbnail from Wikia, we can see that Lord Exo has white eyes. I don't know if this is an official model, but if we assume it is, would that mean that Lord Exo wanted Umbra to touch the God Cube? Did he use the telepathic ability we know God Cube can do and force her to touch the cube? Another thing that occurred to me during the edit is that it could even be the narrator, because during the Trick or Treat Village, one of his dialogues has this variant. Actually, this is the very first variant of the narrator that we saw for the first time. Do you think it was narrator or Lord Exo? Write me your ideas in the comments. But as I said at the beginning, if you remember that the last act was difficult. But when you won, nothing interesting happened. But if you lost, the narrator started laughing. So what if the game was hard, because we canonically lost? If you have watched the video this far, I would like to thank you for your attention. If you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to discuss more theories, don't forget to join my Discord server in the video caption. That would be it for this video. See you next time. Goodbye.